everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this simple stocking cap. This is so lovely and super easy. We're just using half double crochets, front and back post double crochets, and we're making a ginormous palm for this cute hat. This will fit a six to nine month old baby, but you can make it smaller or bigger for the size you need. And I will put information for sizing in the blog post, which will be linked in the description of this video if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, you will see the free written crochet pattern is on yarnutopia.com so you can follow along with the pattern and there will be sizing information in there for bigger or smaller sizes, just tips and tricks. It's, I don't actually have stitch counts or anything for um, <laughs> the bigger or smaller sizes, but if you just do simple math, um, it will. you can make it you know how big you want it to be. Big huge thank you to Yarnspirations for this Caron Simply Soft yarn. This is such soft, smooth yarn. I love it so much and I'm so excited to be working with it today. Uh, the two colors I am using, this one is called Dark Sage. And this red tone is called Harvest Red. So you can get these on yarnspirations.com or at your craft stores near you. We are going to be using an H-sized crochet hook, which is five millimeters. I am using this fancy crochet hook from the Etsy shop, Would Be Fancy. It is hand carved and ergonomic to fit in the palm of my hand very easily. It is so wonderfully wonderful to work with and it is lightweight and I just love it so much. Check out the Etsy shop, Would Be Fancy. Fancy. They host sales all the time. Also, you're going to need a palm maker. I just made a have a homemade one here out of cardboard. Uh, two pieces of cardboard here. Make the put them together and make a palm maker out of this. And that's that simple. It's cheap and easy. Uh, but you can have a legit uh, palm maker as well. We're making this massive palm for this hat as well. And then you're going to need a scissors and a yarn needle to cut your yarn and sew in your ends and sew the palm onto your hat. But this hat is so simple and with this tutorial you'll be able to make it. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Big thank you to Yarn Inspirations. Big thank you to my dad who's behind my shoulder filming this whole tutorial for us and editing it and posting it up on YouTube for everybody. And uh, thank you to you all for watching all the time. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's get started and make this simple stocking cap. We are going to start off with a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, fold this down and then pull your long end through and pull tight. Insert your hook and we can begin. So to start off, we are going to chain two. So yarn over and pull through one and two. And in that second chain from the hook, we are going to put six half double crochets. So yarn over, go into that uh, second chain from the hook is this one right here. So go into that chain, okay? Then yarn over and pull through. And then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That is a half double crochet. So there's one, so yarn over, go back into that same chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. If you wanted to, you could start with a magic ring and that's totally cool as well, but I like to start with a chain method here. So I'm doing the third half double crochet here. Here's four, five, and six. Now with this project we are working in continuous rounds for the main part of the hat. So I have a n another piece of yarn here for my stitch marker, but if you have like an actual stitch marker you can put it right in here to mark your rounds. And for the next few rounds here, let's see, rounds 2 through 19, rounds 2 through 19 we are just going to add one stitch per round. So yarn over, we're going to go in this first stitch here. If you have to count back six, do that and that's the stitch you're going to work in. And we're working in these continuous rounds so we're just going to yarn over, go into this first stitch, every first stitch for the next uh, 18 rounds here, we are going to um, go right into the first stitch there, just like that. I think I lost what I was going to say. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we're gonna put two half double crochets in the first stitch there. So make two half double crochets in there. So there's one. So yarn over, go back into that same first stitch and make your second one. Okay, so this is round two now. 
say, so for round two, we're putting two half double crochets in the first stitch, and then we're just gonna put one half double crochet in the rest of the stitches around. So for round two, you'll have seven half double crochet stitches. So let me just half double crochet around. And if you need to, count back, make sure you have seven. And then we're gonna move our stitch marker up around. And you'll notice that um, your stitch marker is going to travel diagonally <laughs> in this uh, project because you keep adding a new stitch each round, so it's going to increase. So now for round three, again, we're not attaching anything. We're just working in continuous rounds. So here's my first stitch. I moved my stitch marker up. We are putting two half double crochets in the very first stitch, one and two, and then one half double crochet in the rest of the stitches around. So for round three here, you'll have eight half double crochets, okay? So we're just doing that until um, we finish round 19, I believe it is. Let's see here. So just repeat that concept of putting two half double crochets in the first stitch. Well, first move your stitch marker up, just like that. And then put two half double crochets in the very first stitch and then one half double crochet in the rest of the stitches around. And do that for all the rounds until you have 24 stitches around total. So that will get you, you to um, the end of round 19. Round 19 will make you, will have 24 half double crochet stitches around. And once I have 24 stitches all the way around, I'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, welcome back. I just finished uh, round 19 here. You can see I have 24 stitches around. The cone shape is coming together. You can see that my seam has, it's not really a seam. We're working in continuous rounds, so there's no seam, but um, my starting and stopping point has um, swiveled around to this side now. So what we're going to do now, we're still working in continuous rounds, so move your stitch marker up. And for the next round, round 20, we are increasing six times around instead of the one time. We are going to increase six times. So we are going to increase to 30 stitches for this round. So what we're going to do is half double crochet two times. We're going to put two half double crochets in the first stitch here, so yarn over, go into the first stitch and make two half double crochets. And then we're just gonna put one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So here's one, two, oops. Lost my loops there for a second. There's two and three. And then we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So put two half double crochets in this next stitch, and then one half double crochet in each of these next three stitches. One, two, three. Okay, two in the next, and then one in the next three. Do that all the way around and you'll have 30 stitches around, and then we'll go on to round 21. All right, just finish that round there. We increased to 30 stitches. As you can see, it is making it wider. So now we are going to move the stitch marker up. And for round 21, we're just going to put one half double crochet into each stitch around. So no increasing at all here. Just put one half double crochet in each of the 30 stitches, and then I'll come back and we'll go on to round 22. All right, going on to round 22, we are going to increase now. So we are going to put, two, oh, I'm gonna move my stitch marker up here. We're gonna put two half double crochets in the very first stitch right here. So two half double crochets in there, one and two. And then one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. And then increase again, so put two half double crochets in this next stitch here. 
one and two, and then one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches. And just repeat that all the way around and you will have 36 half double crochets at the end of round 22. So I'll do that and then I'll come back, we'll go on to round 23 next. All right, going on to the next round. Round 23 is exactly how we did round 21. Just move your stitch marker up and just put one half double crochet into each stitch around. So right here is our first stitch. Just put one half double crochet in each stitch around. That will be 36 stitches around. So you can kind of see every other round we are going to increase until we get to um, the width of the hat that we need. So I am going to just half double crochet around for round 23 and then I'll show you the next increase uh, for the next round. Moving on to round 24, we're gonna move our stitch marker up and we are going to increase again. So let's put two half double crochets in this first stitch one and two, and then one half double crochet in each of the next five stitches this round. So one, two, oops, three, four, and five. And then just repeat that whole sequence all the way around. So two half double crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so just repeat that again. And at the end of round 24, you'll have 42 half double crochet stitches. So I'll do that and then I'll come back and show you round 25. All right, I have my 42 stitches around. So round 25 is just that uh, repeat of what we did for round 23 and 21. We're just going to half double crochet into each stitch around, no increasing or anything. So I'm going to just put one half double crochet into each stitch for round 25. And then I'll still have the 42 stitches around, but then we will increase for round 26 next. All right, I still have my 42 stitches around for round 25. We're going on to round 26 now, so let's increase. We're going to put two half double crochets in the first stitch, one and two, and then one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches for this round. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then we're just going to repeat that whole sequence all the way around. So put two half double crochets in this next stitch, one and two, and then one half double crochet in each of these next six stitches. One, two, three, sorry, here's four, five, and six. Okay, and then repeat. So at the end of round uh, 26, you will have 48 stitches all the way around. So I'll do that and then I'll come back and we'll go on to round 27 next. All right, going on to round 27. So I have uh, 48 stitches around. So just repeat rounds, you know, 25, 23, or 21, how I just put one half double crochet into each stitch around for those rounds we just we didn't increase at all this is round 27 and we are just putting one half double crochet in each stitch around for this round and then the next round will be our last increase round all right just finished round 27 so you can start to see the cone kind of shape here is looking really good so now we are going to go on to round 28 is our last increase so we are going look at how wide it is though it's looking good that could fit um you know an infant um, size head but we are going to increase again so let's move our stitch marker up 
and we can put two half double crochets in the first stitch one and two and then we are going to put one half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches so one two three four five six and seven and then just repeat that whole sequence all the way around so put two half double crochets in the next stitch and then one half double crochet in the next seven stitches so at the end of this round around uh, 28 you will have 54 stitches around so I'll do that and then I'll come back and show you the next round all right when you have 54 stitches around that is going to fit an infant or a baby I guess um, at the time of filming this video my son is uh, nearly six months he's like five months and uh, three weeks so <laughs> he's like close to six months old and this I mean stretches really wide so that is going to fit a, probably a six to nine month old baby um, so and depending if you used a bigger hook too it could make you know fit up a, a to a year old baby so that is um, the size that I'm going for so now going on to rounds 29 to 40 we are just going to put one half double crochet in each stitch around so no increasing anymore we are just putting one half double crochet in each stitch around moving our stitch marker up every round and we are going to do that for rounds 29 to 40 once I finish round 40 we're going to fasten this part off and change color to make our brim all right welcome back I just finished round 40 here you can see I have here 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 and 40 and we are finishing here so you can see the cone shape it looks good this is like gonna be the nice stocking style you can see my stitch marker there you can see that the seam or uh, the beginning of our rounds travels so that's why I ended there um, but you can now remove your stitch marker at this point and we are going to fasten this part off and to do that we're just going to go in the very next stitch right here okay yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on your hook okay we are going to then chain one and then we are going to grab our scissors and we're going to cut this yarn and then pull it through that chain one and pull tight okay and that is secure so this is what your hat should look like now looks really good so far so now what we're going to do is grab some of this um, harvest red color here and we are going to make our brim so you can flip this around I'm just gonna go in that stitch that we just slip stitched into and I am going to attach my red here hook that on pull it through and now we are actually going to be working in rows or rounds I guess so we're gonna chain two that does not count as anything and we are going to double crochet into each stitch around so yarn over go into the same stitch that we just attached to yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through two loops okay that's a double crochet so we are going to double crochet into each stitch around so yarn over go into the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two Okay, super simple we're just going to double crochet into each stitch around so I'll still have the 54 stitches around I'll do that and then I'll come back and show you round two of the brim alright I just double crocheted around here so now I'm back to the beginning we are going to slip stitch to the first stitch right here so not this chain up two right here one two we're gonna go actually into the top of the stitch right here go in whoop, there we go then yarn over and pull through and pull through that is a slip stitch and we are attached 
Going on to the next round, we are going to chain up two. Do, that does not count as anything. We are going to alternate front post double crochets and back post double crochets on each of the stitches around to make a ribbed look. So yarn over, go on this side of the post, this double crochet right here, go on this side of the post, around it, just like this, to the front again, then yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook, and then yarn over and pull through these other two loops on your hook. Okay, that's a front post double crochet. Now on the next stitch, we are going to do a back post double crochet. So yarn over, go from behind your work, around this post, just like that, then yarn over and pull through, okay? Yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through these other two loops. Okay, that's a back post double crochet. So we're gonna alternate these two stitches all the way around. So yarn over, go on this side of the post, around it, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go from the back of the next post, around it, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And just alternate these two stitches all the way around. And uh, once I'm finished with this round, we'll do that, um, I'll, I'll show you what, how to do the next round. All right, just finished round two of the brim here, and you want to end your round with a back post um, double crochet on the last stitch. Just ignore this chain two here. We're going to go into the front post double crochet stitch and slip stitch into there. So yarn over, pull through and through. And now you can do as many rounds as you want. I'm going to most likely do one more round, um, but you can do four rounds, five rounds, however many. So I'm gonna chain two. And what we're going to do for the next rounds is just put a front post half double crochet on the front post half double crochet stitches and put a back post half double crochet on the back post half double crochet stitches. And we are just going to alternate those two stitches and then just slip stitch to the first front post half double crochet stitch to close your round. And that's all we're going to do. Um, you can do that, like I said, I'm gonna do it for this round and I'll probably fasten off after this round, but you can do it for however many rounds you want your brim to be. You can make a thick brim or keep it thinner uh, like I'm going to. But after this round, I'll show you how to fasten off, and then we just have to make a palm. All right, to fasten off, we're going to slip stitch to the first front post half double, or I'm sorry, double crochet, not half double crochet. <laughs> the first front post double crochet stitch, yarn over, pull through and through, and then we're gonna chain one and cut this yarn, pull it all the way through and pull tight. We're going to grab our yarn needle, yarn our needle with that strand and any loose ends that you have just sew them in underneath your stitches here just like this I just like to sew them in and hide them in the inside okay stretch it out cut any extra that is hanging out and I'll sew in the rest of my ends. And there is your hat. Now you can add a palm like I am going to. That brim looks really nice. It looks nice and ribbed and looks really good. Um, so I'm going to add a palm here, but you don't have to. That's really cute, just plain, just like that. But um, I'm going to grab, I, my dad actually cut out some pieces of cardboard and I've saved this cardboard for like two years now <laughs> because it makes the best big palms. So you can cut piece it, two pieces of cardboard like this shape, or you can get an actual palm maker online, but uh, when you have free cardboard, why not uh, recycle, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna set this aside, and we're going to grab both colors. I'm gonna make the dual colored um, palm. So I'm gonna grab both colors on my uh, strands here. And to make a palm, we are going to start like this. And we are just going to wrap our yarn a million times. 
around this cardboard. I don't know how many times specifically, but a lot. <laughs> so um, it's going to take me a little bit of time. But once I wrap all the way around, I'm going to go all the way around till here. And once I do that, then I'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. All right, so I just wrapped all the way around. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Okay, so now we want to end on the outside here. So I'm just going to snip my yarn. Okay, then I'm just going to take the green strand and use that um, as my tie piece. And what we're going to do is take the center here, this um, gap right here, we're going to insert our yarn our green yarn through that okay and make sure it's long because we are going to use that for sewing okay then we are going to I'm gonna cut this so you can see I have a long green strand okay that's what we're going to use to wrap and there are other tutorials out there to show you how to make palms um, but this was uh, just kind of how I learned here we're just going to take our scissors and just cut and it's just easier to do it on the tabletop so that it um, keeps it all together and kind of trail this along with you. And this palm maker, my dad made this, like he um, cut the cardboard for me such a long time ago, but I've always kept this because it makes the best palms. <laughs> this is the best cardboard. So I'm just going to cut all the way around. I mean, if you want to continue watching, you can. But I'm just going to cut all the way around. And then once I have everything cut, well, I guess I'm more than halfway there. You can continue watching. I'm just going to tie it off. And then we can attach it to our hat, which I'm super excited about. Okay. It is a messy process because we are going to be also giving it a haircut and trimming the strands as well. And I'll show you that too. So, almost done. Wow. There we go. Oh, well, lost a couple, but that's okay. Okay, so now we are all the way around here. Okay, and we're on the inside okay as you can see my two strands here and we are going to tie them in a knot and cinch everything really tight so I'm actually gonna move over to this side and I hope this works there we go and then this will all close in so just like that. Then I like to flip it and then do the other side and tie a knot. Sorry, I'm off camera. There we go. And tie a knot on this side. Tight. Okay, cinched in there. Okay, and then I'm going to tie another knot. Alright, it's secure. Then once you're happy with how secure it is, we're going to take these cardboards off. Oh my gosh, that is a super floppy palm. <laughs> okay, then I'm just going to kind of hold it down like this and you can see all the strands that are mismatched. Here, so we're going to shape this so I'm going to give it a little bit of a haircut to my liking and that's gonna take a little bit of time so I'll give it a little trim and then I'll be right back all right I just gave this a little trim here look at how nice that looks now Ooh. I like how even though I just used one shade of the green with the light hitting it it looks like dark and dark green and light green and even the red too it's like different shades but I just used the two yarns which is awesome so I'm gonna set that there for a second I 
have um, <laughs> fiber shavings all over because I gave it a little trim and we can now attach it to our hat. So what we're going to do is take those two long strands that we used to tie this palm, okay, and I'm going to take it the top of my hat here and I'm going to yarn my needle with one of the strands. Okay, just one of the strands there. Okay, and we're going to come through the hat to this side. Okay, so I just went across the hat. And then we're going to take the other strand and do the same thing opposite. So I'm just going to yarn my needle with that strand, then go from this side to the opposite side. Okay, and then just cinch it tight. I know you can't see this, but when you pull your yarn tight, you will see that it is cinched. And then we're just gonna tie that in a knot underneath. And then the fun thing about palms is that you would never know. We're just going to cut this long as long as our palm. So I'm just gonna cut it right there. And you can see it looks like it's part of the palm. Cool. Well, it looks like a little bit long actually. You can see <laughs> you can see it right there. I'm just gonna give it a little trim. There we go. You would never know. <laughs> and there it is. The simple stocking cap is complete. This palm is massive, you guys. I love it so much. Oh my gosh. Check out the photos and uh, check out the blog. Check out the free crochet pattern on yarnutopia.com. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this. Thank you. Big ups to Yarnspirations for the Care on Yarn for this project. It was so lovely. Big ups to would be fancy for the crochet hook as well. Make sure you check out that Etsy shop. And thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. And I will see you in the next one. Happy hooking!